Hello. Yes, ma'am. Planning and development. Uh, Legislator Laura Curran. Here. Thank you. Legislator Carrie Solange. Here. Ranking Member Arnold Drucker. Here. Legislator Stephen Rhodes. Present. Substituting for Legislator Denise Ford. Howard okay. Coppell. Vice Chairman Dennis Dunn. Here. Chairwoman Laura Schaefer. Here. We have a quorum now. Thank you. Okay, we have one item on the agenda today, and this is clerk item um, number 80-17. This is an ordinance making certain determinations pursuant to the State Environmental Quality Review Act regarding a lease of a portion of the right-of-way located at the northwest corner of Wantaw Avenue and Merrick Road in Wantaw, New York, to Wantaw 3215, LLC and authorizing the County Executive of the County of Nassau to execute said lease and all pertinent documents in connection therewith. You may I have a motion? So moved. Moved by Legislator Rhodes, seconded by Legislator Duff. Okay, is there someone to speak on this item? Uh, yes, uh, Nicholas Hernandez, Deputy County Attorney. Uh, this is about the piece of property which is at the uh, corner of Merrick Road and uh, Wantaw Avenue. Uh, this property has been a continuous part of the right-of-way of the roadway, but not part of either the street or the sidewalk that abuts the roadway, but it's just in, further in towards the property line. Property has been used by the owners of the site, which now contain a uh, auto repair shop, which has for many years, and they have requested a to be to memorialize their use of the portion of the right of way, which consists of parking, ingress and egress into the shop. And uh, as part of the lease, we conducted an appraisal. We went through the uh, artifact and planning process, and uh, DPW found the property suitable for lease, but because of existing infrastructure uh, underneath the property, which is not affected by the use, and the fact that it's part of the right of way, would not uh, prove a outright sale of the property. So after getting an appraisal, which is made part of your package, uh, we've determined that we could lease the property to the uh, joining owner, which, after, uh, which has the business at the site. Uh, the lease is for market value rent. Uh, the owner of the site will agree uh, as part of the lease uh, to landscape the property for the beautification of the area. And uh, the lease um, is a long-term long, long -term lease with an initial term of 49 years with an option for another 50 years. But the lease also provides that whenever the county needs to access the site to either do repairs on the infrastructure below the site or for the road necessary to do work on the roadway, we have the right to use the property. Um, and that's basically what it is. We'll be getting uh, revenue from the uh, lease of this property, which, as I said, has been used by the adjoining owners for many years for parking and ingress, egress and ingress. And uh, there was a prohibition in the lease of building of any structures on the property, and it can only be used for those purposes, which is the ingress, egress, parking and uh, the landscaping which was requested by the county as a, portion, as a requirement under the lease. Okay, I just have one question. You said the shop has been there for a number of years, right? And obviously the property has been owned by the county. So what have they been doing? Like how has it been maintained or, or handled up until uh, now? And why the change? I've driven past the property many times. I think that the property right now doesn't have the landscaping that we're requiring to be put in. So the, the, but obviously since it's used as a parking area for the uh, business in question has been maintained for that purpose. So I believe that the, the, there is a requirement that the property be maintained. There's an additional requirement because they will be accessing part of the county property that they provide insurance and identification should any uh, accidents and or injuries to occur on the uh, county portion of the property. 
Okay. Legislative votes. That's a question. Uh, Deputy County Attorney Sarandis, um, this the the story behind this property is a little bit unique in act in that uh, the the area that we're talking about actually used to be a uh, a right turn lane uh, from southbound Wontai Avenue uh, to get to westbound Merrick Road, uh, and when I believe the state came in to to reconfigure that intersection probably about five or six years ago. Uh, the piece of property that we're actually talking about was created, uh, in a sense, because they did away with the right turn lane, so that now you're actually making a right turn directly from the right lane. Um, so that that angled piece of property is really what we're talking about. Yes. Is that correct? Um, yeah, that that piece of uh, property, just for the uh, the committee's uh, uh, education, is uh, is currently asphalted. Um, it really has, it's, it's too small to have any uh, any suitable use. Uh, and the reason that the county's, uh, I believe traffic controls are, are actually on that particular parcel. Um, are there any other ass county assets that are there? Any what? Any other county assets that are there, structures? Not, not that I'm aware of, just that, uh, like I said, the property had been utilized by the person in question for years. Yeah, so the so it had been used. I know at some point in time they were directed not to use it because obviously they were infringing on county property, and now uh, now they have they're entering into an agreement yeah. so that they can legally use uh, that parcel. But the the reason that it can't be sold, my understanding, is because the county does have its traffic signal assets um, on that particular parcel because it used to be adjoining the roadway. Correct? Okay. Thank you. Any other questions from the legislators? Legislators, Lodges. Yes, hi. Thank you very much, Chair. Good afternoon, Councilor. How are you doing today? Okay. That's great. So, um, my question is, uh, so is this potentially a 99-year lease? Yeah. It, it's 99 years exactly, or it could be another amount it, of years? No, it's 99 years exactly, because under the statute, the county can only lease property up to a period of 99 years. I understand, I understand. That's where make sure obviously, if the, if the county becomes useful, if the county becomes necessary for the county to obtain the property in the future because of road widening or some other infrastructure issue, we have the right to do so. So it's so that's and we have, like I said, the right to utilize to enter onto the property for any purposes, county purposes that might become necessary to maintain it. Okay. All right. My Excuse me. I'll put it in my calendar. Okay, it's just that uh, my concern is that it's just, this is for a definite term because I was just getting flashbacks from law school to uh, the rule against perpetuities, right? <laughs> and I was concerned that, you know, I don't, you know, I turned off my brain during that lesson in law school. However, I did remember that, you know, the courts and the law are concerned that property is a, it can be alienable, it can be transferred. Yeah. And when you say that there's a lease that doesn't have a definite term, then I get concerned. But if you're telling me that it is for 99 years, yeah. then I guess then the rule against perpetuities does not apply. The only other point I would make also is that under the provisions of the, the monetary provisions of the lease, it does call for regu regular lease increases and a readjustment of the rent of a, after every 20 years. So that if the property somehow becomes more valuable by what he may have built there or whatever inflationary value of the property, and there will be uh, there will be a readjustment after 20 years, up or down depending on the value of the property, so that the county is protected in that respect from from getting to getting fair market value for the uh, leased property. Just my professor in law school told me that hey, don't worry about it. You're never going to use the rule against perpetuities, but I'm <laughs> glad that we <laughs> consider it. <laughs> now, right? Law school is all worth it. I would. I was feeling very nostalgic when you mentioned that because I haven't heard it in 30 some odd years. So thank you. Every law school professor is probably cheering at the moment. Just, have, just so I that actually came across the normal times of the world. Yeah. <laughs> just, just so I, I correctly understand the terms of Deputy County Attorney Serenis, uh, is, the, is the term? Yes. Is the term 99 years? I thought under the lease it was 49 years with a 50 year renewal you know, option. No, it's a 49 year lease with a 50 year renewal. You know. Okay. Thank you. Rent readjustment at the every 20 years. <coughs> Thank you. Plus, there were change. Automatic increases in between. I have a question. Uh, Legislator Drucker? 
Thank you. Um, you mentioned that there were some factors that mitigated against the purchase. Could you be specific what they were? I had a sale round. Uh, the sale, sale was, um, it was approached to the Department of Public Works during the, during the planning process as well as the aspect process. And basically they said that because of the infrastructure that was on the site, as well as it being a part of the right of way, they did not feel comfortable with an outright sale of the property because if there was an outright sale, we would have different uh, ability to uh, access the property and need to, to satisfy the needs of the uh, infrastructure repair or maintenance or... You mean it would cost money to do those, those remediation, that, that those improvements? Is that what you're saying? Well, I, I might have believed by DPW that infrastructure under the roadway could be in the nature of some type of drainage and or sewer pipe. And I believe we, there might be infrastructure on top of the roadway in terms of traffic signal. But there was no assessment as to what the cost would be to take care of that, right? I mean, how do we know? No, that's, they're not being assessed. I mean, that would be an assessment call as to whether or not the value reflects some use of that property onto their tax roll, but that's an assessment issue, not so instead not that so you know what happened on occasion. So instead they think it's better that we're we be a landlord for ninety nine years. Yes, in a sense we'll be a landlord for ninety nine years. Obviously, if circumstances change within the course of the uh, lease, to, which would allow a potential sale of the property that would be explored at that time, but as of now, the DPW is comfortable with the lease and not uh, outright sale of the property. Did the county ever seek any sort of contribution or compensation for the unauthorized use for all those years? Uh, I have no idea. I, I do not know whether, I know that in other cases of encroachment on county property, we have, uh, we've been trying to, uh, to, to get some, uh, <laughs> you know, but uh, on this property I'm not aware of any uh, attempt to gain any uh, compensation for prior use. And the roughly $8,000 a year of rent uh, is considered, that was, that was determined by the uh, realty? Realtor that uh, that was considered market value. They based it on comparables. I'm assuming. I don't know what the comparables yeah. there are for that. Yeah. But. yeah, it was based on comparable use, and it, it was based on the appraisal uh, that was supplied in the package. Um, you know, it's a use of 5,000 square feet, approximately, which is uh, limited limited by. Uh, no construction on the site. It's basically to um, to legitimize a prior use that has existed, like we said, for many years. Thank you. My last question is just the Wamtor 3215 LLC. Is there are they affiliated with any other subsidiaries that do business with the county? Mm -hmm. I it is on it is a corporation which first time it's a this corporation that I've ever dealt with and they are not the operators of the business on the site. They're not affiliated with Hempstead 9 LLC, you know? I, I know that the, some of the principles of both corporations are the same principles. I have nothing further, thank you. Any other questions from the legislators? Uh, legislator Dunn, I'm sorry. He's been waiting. Okay. All right, um, if you look at page 9 and 10, it shows a picture of what used to be the turning lanes, which is now just barren space with the, with the curbing. And yes, that so space is not being used, the parking that has been there before. I was a legislator when we, when we took away those turning lanes because yes. moms with their carriages 
had a hard time getting the course for all of those lanes of traffic, especially in the summer when everybody's going to walk to a park in the Jones Beach. So we yeah, got rid of those dirty lanes. Many times coming back from the beach. We got, we got rid of those dirty lanes and made it much safer for the moms with their carriages and their children. So that is a wonderful thing that, that happened. And, and if you look at these pictures on 9 and 10, that kind of answers your question, like say the drop of that, that there is no parking there right now that can use it for parking. It's given them additional space to use parking. <laughs> now, I, I noticed that the fan club from, um, let's say, the Rogers area is here. The Girl Scouts, and what, what troop were they with? And where, what town? Uh, they're actually a Girl Scout troop 901 from the Belmore Presbyterian Church. And I wanted to take a moment at the appropriate time. I wanted to take a, a moment to. Uh, <laughs> sorry. sorry. I wanted to take a moment to welcome them. We're glad that they're here. That also means everyone has to be careful. There are Girl Scouts here. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know where the call bell is on, on, on the corner there, guys? There's a. Um, there's a drive through it's a dairy bar in there, and there's a car bell right there on the corner of, of, of Merrick Road and, and the end of Wantour Avenue. Well, that's what we're talking about, that, that space right there. And your legislators got you in at a real appropriate time, so it's something you know about. This is really good. You can tell your teacher when you go to school that legislative roads really did something great for our community. He saved the car bell. And you know, you know, the little car bell after, you know, paper car bell? Save, save the car bell. Least, you know, it's probably cheaper than the Girl Scout cookies. You know? <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, legislator. Legislator Curran. Hi. So since the county still owns it and this company is renting it, who's responsible for repairs? You mentioned landscaping. What about repairs? Well, well he's responsible for the maintenance of the property. The maintenance, okay, because I was just yeah, thinking about means, liability. Uh, the maintenance of the landscaping, as well as obviously he's using the property for parking and ingress. If there is a uh, damage to the concrete, you know, to that he's responsible for those repairs. And who's liable? What? Who is liable if there is something that goes wrong there? Who would what? Who is liable? Is it the oh, lessor or lessee? Okay, because it is a part of the county right away, technically somebody could bring a claim against the county. That's why we have indemnification and insurance from the uh, owner so that if there is a trip and fall or something within the that property that he's leasing, he's re he would be responsible for any damages. Obviously, as I said earlier, the property he's leasing does not encroach on the sidewalk and or the either the pedestrian or vehicle right of way, so that there's no unless somebody is trespassing on the property, they'll be only used by a uh, person utilizing his business and not by the general public. Thanks. Okay, any other questions from the legislators? Any public comments on this issue? There being none. All those in favor of clerk item number 80-17, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, the item passes. Can I have a motion to close? Planning, so moved by Legislator Dunn, seconded by Legislator Rhodes. That's it, all in favor, say aye. aye. Okay. 